Straight white men and women are so used to being the protagonist, the chosen one, the action star, the default, the main character in video games, comic books, etc. But now that things are starting to change, especially in sci-fi and fantasy, a lot of y'all don't know what to do with yourselves. And that's why many people are having this backlash where it's like, oh, my favorite franchise is changing. My favorite franchise is going woke. So recently, Bioware came out and said that they're finally ready to start announcing their next installment in the Dragon Age franchise. And they're actually going to release a 15 minute gameplay trailer on the 11th and this new game is called Dragon Age the Velguard. And I'm super excited. I freaking love the Dragon Age games and universe. I used to play Dragon Age Inquisition over and over and over and over and over again, but it's been 10 years. But after that announcement popped up, you have this ridiculous article that pops up that says Dragon Age the Velguard, game director who describes himself as a queerosexual gender mancer claims game is quote inherently queer. But this is how ridiculous this article is. This is the first paragraph. Bioware announced it is renaming its upcoming Dragon Age game from Dragon Age Dreadwolf to Dragon Age Velgard. At the same time, it's been brought to public attention that the game's director is a man pretending to be a woman who supports Black Lives Matter. He also believes the game is, quote, inherently queer. So for those of you that don't know, the game director is Corrine Bush. And so the person in that article is openly admitting that they're transphobic by saying pretending to be a woman. And then against Black Lives Matter, so you're openly admitting that you're racist as well. And John goes on to continue to call Corinne Heath throughout the entire article and then complain about hopefully they don't inject any modern politics into the new Dragon Age game. A part of me is of two minds of this. One part of me is glad that these types of articles exist and that people are so upset and I'm drinking in these white tears because like, it's telling me that you guys are obviously upset because you're losing. When you think about most of entertainment, video games, etc., like when you think about when Superman and Batman were first created, it was during the era of Jim Crow. Black people were still being lynched and you couldn't drink in certain water fountains and definitely queer people didn't have rights, right? When you think of most video games, most video games, even today, the protagonist is a straight white man. But now you're getting more queer people with opportunities to work in comics, more queer people opportunities to work in video games, black people opportunities to work in comics. Like like I mentioned in another video, Eve L. Ewing is the first black woman to write an X-Men book. It took till 2024 for that to happen. But straight white men and women are so used to having their stories being told, their faces being the main character, that you get a trans person that says, oh, I would like to see a trans main character. Suddenly they have a problem with it. Oh, it's an agenda. Why are you forcing your politics down my throat? What about the agenda of having straight whiteness throughout most of media? And these same people that were like, oh, why are you injecting politics into my video games? These are the same people that would think Star Wars is not political. This person to be shocked that she said Dragon Age is inherently queer. Like, have you played any of the Dragon Age games? It's gay as hell. And I'm not just saying that in a tongue in cheek way. Like, no, since the first game, you have main characters that are queer. You yourself as the protagonist could make your character queer. One of my favorite characters and favorite love interests in Dragon Age Inquisition, I made my male main character ride the Iron Bull the character Sarah who's an elf who's strictly a lesbian plenty of other queer characters like I'm not gonna go through all of them but Leliana Dorian Zevran Anders etc 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 and in the show Dragon Age Absolution on Netflix you got a gay main couple and a lesbian main couple. So again, Dragon Age is inherently queer. Where's the lie? And it has been since the beginning. This is why I keep saying representation matters and representation equals normalization. Because guess what? Queer people, black people, etc. have always been fans of fantasy, sci-fi, horror, etc. We just never got to see ourselves despite being fans of these things. But now we're getting more opportunities to be a part of these narratives and tell these stories and get to see ourselves. So John F. Trent and people that think like him, have the day you deserve. But for everybody else... Happy Pride, everyone. Hopefully you made it to the end of this video. Do the things over here to boost this video in the algorithm. If this is one of your first time checking out one of my videos, hopefully you check out the other videos on my channel. If you like what you see, hit that follow button. And welcome to my safe gaven.